What's up, Game of Thrones? It's your boy DJ11 here, back at you with another quick vid. And tonight I thought we'd switch it up and do it a little different. I thought we'd knock out a quick Q&A. And I've been seeing a bunch of questions out there asked, and I've been asked some questions, and I got a little different take of what I've been hearing on answers, so I figured we'd do a quick video and knock it out. Uh, these are both, nah, these are mostly going to have to do with Season 6, Episode 2, or somewhere close therein. Uh, let's, let's get started. Number one, what is Ramsey's surprise? A lot of people out there seem to think that it's going to be Little Reek on Stark. Do you like games, little man? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's going to be Reek. I think they're going to catch Reek, bring him back, and be like, here's your surprise, and they're going to bring him his toy back. Uh, number two, will Tyrion be the one to make the dragon saddles like he made Bran's special saddle? Well, Tyrion didn't make the saddle. He only designed them, but I think you're onto something there. I think you're absolutely right. I think Tyrion, uh, he's read more than anybody, and he's absolutely obsessed with dragons. So there is a very good possibility that Tyrion will be the one to make dragon saddles. Uh, does not get eaten by dragons confirm Tyrion's not a tar 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 Does not get eaten by dragons confirm Tyrion's a Targaryen? No. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you've seen all my other videos, uh, you definitely know that I do believe Tyrion is a Targaryen, and I give all the info and back all that up. But, to play devil's advocate, let me just jump on the other side and say, no, I don't think get, not getting eaten by the dragons makes him a Targaryen. Um, there's been all sorts of people. The people who feed him don't get eaten. Um, whoever put those new chains and collars on him didn't get eaten. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, there's been, there's been people that have ridden dragons over the years, like Nettles and Hugh the Hammer, um, they actually rode dragons and they weren't Targaryen, so, yeah, I don't think that that's what actually makes it, I mean, yes, it might be a little more foreshadowing, more foreshadowing and, you know, a little more of a hint, but, yeah, I don't think that by itself necessarily means that he's a Targaryen, but, of course, I absolutely do believe he is a Targaryen. <laughs> Um, where were the, oh god, people went nuts. Where was the soldier with the dogs? I mean, there was a soldier, there was dogs, then they wasn't there. What happened? Well, I mean, if this was a real life thing and that really happened, he's the dog guy. He's no great warrior, I wouldn't think. He's the guy that handles the hounds. Um, he saw Brienne absolutely take out three other guards by herself. What's he gonna do? He's obviously no great swordsman. He's not the guy in the horse with, you know, the Valerian sword or whatever. He's the dog guy. So, yeah, he's sitting there with the hounds. Not even the mastiffs, just bloodhounds. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that kind of goes into my next question, so I guess I'll take care of it there. But, yeah, if he's the hound guy. He saw Brienne take those guys out, and he's like, I gotta live. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna be the one that tells the story. I'm out. And he bounced. That's what happened to the guy with the hounds is what I would think. I mean, I think that could really happen in real life, and I think that makes all sorts of sense. So, seems like the whole internet and everybody's all a flutter. What happened to the dogs? What happened to that other soldier? He saw the other ones get their ass kicked, and he bounced. That's what happened to that guy. Um, next question was, why was Theon afraid of those dogs? Um, there was all kinds of people out looking for Sansa. There was all sorts of different packs of people and packs of dogs out looking for Sansa. So he didn't know which ones it was. It could have been those hunters that we've been seeing all se or the other seasons absolutely ripping people apart. So yeah, he would be very much right to be afraid of those dogs. The Mastiffs would kill him. Um, just so happened it happened to be the Bloodhounds that found him. And yeah, they sniffed him out and probably would have just licked him a bunch. But yeah, so he was right to be afraid of him. But yeah, again... Um, the guy with the dogs, he didn't have the Mastiffs, he had bloodhounds. They weren't going to attack and kill anybody. They are going to smell people out and find them. So, yeah, where was the guy with the dogs? He left, and he went back to go tell Ramsey, yeah, we found them, and they killed everybody but me. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Um, but just, yeah, it's funny how many people were freaking out about where that extra guard was and where the dogs went. I mean, in a real-life situation, I think that's exactly what would happen. He'd be like, <laughs> after seeing all the other ones get wiped out, he'd be like, I gotta go. Um, are the three heads of the... <laughs> I think I thought this was confirmed a long time ago and just pretty much a guarantee by now. I mean, out of all, out of all the obvious ones out there, I think this is one that's actually true. Are the three heads of the dragon confirmed? Yes, I do believe John, Danny, and Tyrion are the three heads of the dragon. They're the three stars of the show. Um, they're the only characters who I believe parents are in question. Um, I believe all three of them were conceived in rape. Um, yeah, you have to go back to my other videos. I got all sorts of stuff backing all that up. But yeah, I mean, yeah, they're the three heads of the dragon, they're the three stars of the show, and yeah, they're probably going to be the three dragon riders. 
Speaking of the Three Dragon Riders, now I'd always heard about these bloodshots, but I'd never seen them before, so I couldn't really comment. I guess if you do pause it right here, and this isn't photoshopped, it's real, then obviously there it is. There's a wolf howling at the moon. Um, I'd never seen these before. Again, I don't know if they're photoshopped or they're real, but if they were, that's pretty cool, and I guess they have the blood telling the story, because it starts off as a wolf, and then... So as he dies and more blood pours out, he gets transformed, and he transformed from Stark to Targaryen. And there it is, the Targaryen sigil, the three-headed dragon. The dragon has three heads. And as we can see right there, very plainly, Jon is the third head of the dragon, which I guess tells us he'll be a dragon rider. Uh, so I guess, yeah, D John, Danny, and Tyrion are all dragon riders. And like I said, I've never seen these shots of the blood exactly this way. I don't know what's photoshopped, what's real. But, I mean, if this is real, then, yeah, I definitely guess they're telling us something with the blood. What happened to Hodor? I believe Hodor was sparring with Benjen. And if you remember in the show, Lyanna was trying to give him tips on how Benjen fights. But Hodor already seemed to know. And he lowers it when he's going to dodge, milady. See, Ned told him he was bigger, but you're trained, so it's a fair match. I'm guessing when... When Ned went to the Eyrie and Benjen needed somebody to spar with, he asked Willis, and Willis had been paying more attention than anybody thought and was a way better fighter than anybody expected. I think he was constantly beating Benjen since he already seemed to already know his moves, and Benjen finally just lost his shit and went ham on him. And while Hordor was kind of backing away, trying to just block him and not hurt the little lordling because he knew what would happen to him, he probably backed right into a horse, spooked him, and the horse kicked him right in the head, knocked him dumb. The other thing that may have happened is maybe Hordor was a little blabbermouth, Hordor, 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 and was always talking and couldn't keep his mouth shut. And when they came back, he knew what happened. He had overheard, and he knew what happened and knew who Jon Snow's two parents were. And Benjen overheard him telling somebody, and Benjen killed that somebody and ended up hitting Hordor over the head or something, and he ended up going dumb and not remembering anything. And that's why Benjen had to go to the wall, because after that, they're like, well, you can either have death or you can go to the wall. He's like, all right, I'll go to the wall. And that's the reason why Benjen had to go to the wall because he hurt Hordor. Why does no one seem to care about a blind girl getting beat up? Well, this is Bravos. First off, these are bums and beggars on the street, not superheroes. I'm quite sure they have enough problems of their own. They're not really looking for any new ones, and they don't want what's happening to her to happen to them. Second, the people of Bravos know to fear the faceless men. The same way that sea captain went from telling Arya to piss off to seeing that coin and saying, of course you shall have a cabin. Then once they are personally rowing her to the front door. It's not like it's a secret society. People know to fear the ones from the House of Black and White. This next one's a good question. Is the Blood Raven evil? Ah, uh, the short answer is no. Uh, for a longer answer, you're going to have to wait for my next video, because that's about pretty much going to be my next video coming out. Um, but in a nutshell, pretty much everything I know and have read about the Blood Raven is he's always done what's best for the realm, even at his own peril. So is he evil? I don't think so. And I also don't think the children of the forest are evil. But again, that's all going to be coming up in the next video. Stay tuned. Why did the mountain kill the loudmouth drunk? Because he pissed on his leg. <laughs> um, no, I believe this was just the show letting us know that even though the sparrows are supposedly running things in town, that the mountain does exactly what he wants, when he wants to do it, with absolutely zero repercussions. I just think that was just a show letting us know that, yep, the mountain gets down just how he wants to, when he wants to. There is a spell. Some would say death is cleaner. Is Jon Snow coming back really a good thing? I mean... That's a really good question. I mean, since when is somebody from the dead coming back alive? I mean, when has Zombie Nation ever been a good thing in the history of ever? whole world is just so happy and just wants Jon Snow coming back. And I don't know. I don't know how happy I'd be. You know, I said, now you were dead and now you're alive. Something ain't jiving here. So, yeah, I don't know if Jon Snow coming back is going to be the great thing that everybody in the whole planet and world seems to think that it's going to be. I mean... I don't know, we'll see. I guess if he actually warged into Ghost and his mind still stayed alive and coherent and there's still a lot of Jon Snow left, then hey, yeah, it's cool. Jon Snow's back. But if he's not and he's completely changed and we don't really know what that change is going to entail, then, I mean, who really knows how good a thing it's going to be. So, yeah, the whole world's happy. Um, personally, I, I mean, we all knew he was coming back. I thought the whole scene was kind of just anticlimactic myself. I mean, I might be the only one on the planet, but 
Yeah, I wasn't exactly doing backflips when I saw it. I was like, oh, there he is. He's back. I mean, and I called it. I said he'd be back in the second or third show. He's going to be back in the second one and full on in the third. So, I don't know. It's just a little anticlimactic to me. I mean, he's one of the main characters. You're not going to go a whole season without Jon Snow. So, it's just kind of the way that is. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess time will tell. I, don't, I really don't have an answer for that. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Is Jon Snow coming back really the great thing that everybody thinks it is? I'm not so positive. So yeah, I was going to end it on that one, but uh, let's see, we'll do one more. Um, is Brienne related to Sir Duncan the Tall? <laughs> um, I've always heard no, that she wasn't. I mean, it seems so obvious that she is, but yeah, I always heard she wasn't. But I mean, yeah, she's totally noble and she's like, you know, seems to come. I mean, I don't know, she didn't come from nowhere. I mean, her father out in Tarth seems to be a lord and have something going on. But, uh, yeah, the only thing I would say that does actually say that she is related to Sir Duncan the Tall is when her and Jamie were in the tubs together at Harrenhal, and uh, he actually went to give her a compliment, and she took it the wrong way, and he kind of stared at her, and he's like, God, are you as thick as a castle wall? And as everybody knows who read the Duncan Egg stories knows that that's what people used to tell um, Sir Duncan the Tall all the time. It was like... Um, Sir Duncan the Tall, thick as a castle wall. So, I don't know. I think that was maybe a little hint and a nod that, yeah, actually they are related. So, there you have it. Just a couple questions, a couple answers. And, uh, yeah, maybe you think I'm right. Maybe you think I'm crazy. Who knows? But that's what it's all about. Having a good time, making videos, and uh, seeing what other people think about one of our favorite shows. Uh, so, yeah, we got Game of Thrones Episode 3 coming right around the corner. So, can't wait for that. Uh, if you like how I do this, go ahead and uh, subscribe. You'll be the first one to know when a new video comes out. And if not, go ahead and thumbs up it if you like the way I did it. And, hey, let everybody know that this video is worth watching. Got a couple people out there that have been talking about doing collabs and I uh, want to get together. I would love to do that right Right now, I can't even, like, when people are on live streaming, I can't even, like, see the chat window going up and down. So, yeah, I'm about as computer illiterate as it gets. Uh, I will definitely get a friend over here, get that all figured out. And as soon as I do, I'll get in contact. And, yeah, I would love to get on and do a couple collab videos because, yeah, it's just all about having fun with Game of Thrones, baby. So, yeah, until then, uh, it's your boy DJ11. I'll be having another video out real soon. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. We'll see you soon.